Hey there everyone out in YouTube land, it's your boy Mac and welcome to Metal Lancer Gaming. Welcome back for my returning viewers. And today we're going to be playing some more Alpha Protocol, which is one of my all-time favorite games. Well, it's made by Obsidian, so of course it's one of my favorite games, because Obsidian is a great developer. I'm not even joking, guys. I know that I know they catch a lot of flack, and I'm pretty sure I've said this before in another video. But Obsidian is a great developer. They really are. Great development house. So yeah, we're gonna start a new game Alpha Protocol. Gonna go Agent this time. Last time I went Soldier. But that one didn't work out so well once I got to uh, once I got to uh, Rome. Yeah. So we're gonna go Agent this time. And we're gonna go Easy Mode because I don't like dying. Yeah, field agent. There we go. Hmm. Yeah, recruit. Um, hmm. Hmm. Okie dokie then. Field agent, there we go. Yeah, stealth, pistols, and martial arts. Okay. Okay, that's cool. Yeah, stealth will come in very handy. So will uh, pistols, of course, and martial arts. Yeah, most definitely. Okay, cool. Yep, let's go. All right. Air traffic control, this is Alpha 254, requesting clearance for departure. Oh, yeah, this Run part. Yeah. Okay, good. Good. Good, 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 good. I feel like I've been hit by a freight train. <laughs> Good, you're awake. I wasn't sure how long you'd be under. Those tranquilizers wore off fast. Where am I? You're locked in our medical bay. And when the guards find out you've regained consciousness, they'll put you under again. Don't want that. Any reason why you're helping me? Mina. Let's just say I'm not a fan of the indoctrination procedure here. All the more reason to leave, then. And how do you propose to do that? You're locked in. There's a guard outside. Eventually, he's going to come check on you. And when he does... Can you distract the guard? Unlock the door. I could. A glitch in the security panel in the hall outside might do it. As long as you don't make too much noise when you leave, you might take him by surprise while he's checking it. Disabling the security system now. The door should be unlocked. Alright, that'll work. Oh, crap. Sake, somebody get me another angle on Thornton. Now! You need to shut off the alarm. Yeah, I get it. The panel's on the wall. Do a bypass on it.
Mike, careful. They probably have a guard in the lobby. I'm already crouching. Interesting. long you won't took care of business. That's right. Watch out for cameras. If they spot you or you destroy them, they'll sound an alarm. Got it. Mike, they dispatched a squad to your area. Don't make this any harder than it has to be. go much better almost gave me the slip now we got gotcha. you Yeah, 
I got it, okay? Sign of our new arrival? No sign of him yet. Careful, Mike. Truck coming in. And guards at the exit. Try to stay out of sight if you can. Well.
goodie. Yeah, 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 let's go. What? Ah, shit balls. Okay, good. <sighs> Here we go again. Gosh, oh, gotta be kidding me, man. That's enough? I think that's my line. What the hell's going on? Why did you drug me? We need to get the location of this facility confidential. Especially if you got kidnapped and questioned. I don't give up government secrets. I believe you. Everyone says that during the first hour of interrogation. Hmm. So this is all part of the orientation? Yep. I'm gonna ask you some questions, run you through some more tests, then you and I can talk. Face to face. That make you feel better? I'm ready. What tests? Not a physical, if that's what you're thinking. No, I figured that was all done while I was unconscious. And then some. We ran your blood work, checked your vitals. You seem healthy. Just one thing we should check. Your psych profile. I've been reading and rereading your dossier. Your file's got a lot of gaps in it. A lot more than I usually see in field agents. Those gaps were hard to fill. I thought those records were buried. We're pretty good at digging. The ops needed to be done. Whatever they were. Looks like they were sad to see you go. And probably happy at the same time. But mm. you wouldn't be a good field agent if your boots didn't get dirty. If you gain more experience in the field, you may want to specialize further. But we can leave that until you've got some missions under your belt. That's it. Now I'm gonna let you out of the pen here and meet the rest of the crew. I'd prefer an assignment, not a meet and greet. How about you earn it first? And that means following orders, got it? The rest of the crew will take it from here. Hmm. They'll be running you through the basics of weapons, gadgets, and espionage tactics. When you're cleared on the basics, come find me for your assignment. I won't lie to you, Mike. It's a big one, and dangerous. But I think you're the man for the job. Make the rounds. I'll see you soon. <laughs> okay.
Yeah. Cool. All right, that'll work. Big ass screen. past this point. Oh, really? Agent Zark, You probably want to change. Go on. You're geared. That'll work. Yeah, that'll work. Orientations aren't mandatory. You can turn around and go back to Westridge right now. Although that might make him upset. Our war does not end here. This target is not the last. With our will and our resolve, Al Samad shall continue these attacks, fight the aggression of the West with its own weapons. Yes, for weapons. Hmm. Oh, got three different orientations. Oh, goody. Okay, save checkpoint, all right. Uh, let's see, weapons orientation. Yeah, let's do weapons first. Then we'll go do gadgets and all that other stuff. So. Yeah, usually I just play the soldier, I go through this and that's Hello? it. Hello? Anybody shooting in here? Agent Thornton. Hello. Hey. Hey, you're the one I spoke to when I woke up in the medical bay. Glad that wasn't a hallucination. It may have been. Do you remember my name? Or do I need to write it down for you? Mina, right? That's right. Good to see you've recovered from the medical room with your memory intact. Memory intact? Speaking of which, I don't remember where I left my keys. Or my passport. Confiscating personal items is quite routine. I wouldn't worry about that. Hmm. But let's get down to the task at hand. I'm here to run you through the weapons training and test your accuracy. All right, what's the next step? Just head through the door to the firing range, and I'll keep in contact with you over the earpiece. Head over to the table, get your weapons, and we can begin. Sounds good to me. The standard field agent package includes a pistol, SMG, shotgun, and assault rifle. Each has its strengths and weaknesses. Let's start with the pistol. Equip the pistol. Then aim down range and take some shots at the target. Good aim. Now, 
steady your aim for a few seconds. Then fire. Precision shots can take down a target quickly. Now, let's move on to the submachine gun. Now let's empty the clip. Let you get a feel for the recoil. Now take cover. Still using cover, take some shots at the target. Accuracy is terrible while firing blind, but it can get the job done, eventually. Now try popping out and focusing your aim. You can use cover to your advantage here. I've unlocked the door to the tactical range on your right. Let's see how you do against some moving targets. Now, with the pistol, you'll want to be patient and attack when targets get close. for the shotgun. Oh, yeah. Holding the trigger steady and firing can knock down even heavily armored targets. Good. Next. Hell yeah. Now for your submachine guns. If you're trapped in close quarters with multiple opponents, the SMGs can help clear the room quickly. Not subtle or quiet, but... Range encounters? The assault rifle's the key. It's accurate, powerful. Just be sure to line up your shots carefully. Watch for attackers from above. They may be out of reach, but not rifle range. That's it. Take the ladder, head up and back. All done. Standing. Good, Mike. I'm logging the results now. All right. Is somebody out on the course? Darcy. He's trying to beat your time. Darcy? Who the hell is that? Our tech instructor. Very insecure. <laughs> what is he doing? Not well. He's distracted. Why? As soon as he knew you were talking to me, Mike... He was in here in a second, in case he saw you as a challenge for my affections. It's like a cage match with you boys. So how'd I do on the course? Calling it up now. Yeah, not bad. I think you might still be feeling the effects of the drugs. 
It's definitely affecting your aim. You can give it another run if you want. The course should be free. I can beat my own score, no problem. If you say so. If you do better on this run, it'll overwrite your previous score. <laughs> I've unlocked the door to the tactical range on your right. Long-range encounters? The assault rifle's the key. It's accurate. Powerful. Just be sure to line up your shots carefully. Watch for attackers from above. They may be out of reach, but not rifle range. That's it. Take the ladder, head up and back. All done. logging the results now. All right, let's see here. Eh, whatever. I think you might still be feeling the effects of the drugs. It's definitely affecting your aim. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You can give it another run if you want. The course should be free. Yeah, one more time, why not? I can beat my own score, no problem. If you say so. If you do better on this run, it'll overwrite your previous score. <laughs> All right. I've unlocked the door to the tactical range on your right. Long-range encounters? The assault rifle's the key. It's accurate. Powerful. Just be sure to line up your shots carefully.
Watch for attackers from above. They may be out of reach, but not rifle range. That's it. Take the ladder, head up and back. All done. That's got to be better than the last one. Good, Mike. I'm logging the results now. All right. Let's see here. Really? Yeah, whatever. I think you might still be feeling the effects of the drugs. It's definitely affecting your aim. You can give it another run if you want. No. Nah, the course should be free. Hmm. Yeah. I'll pass. Very well. I'll log your score. I'll have the results sent to your handler, and Westridge can give the rest of your evaluation, provided you've completed the other tests. Okay. There's gadgets over there. This is espionage over here. Okay, let's do espionage one now. This is a restricted area. The vending machines are down the hall and to the right. I'm here for espionage training. Westridge's new recruit. Good. There's no time to waste. So, orientation. You are familiar with the premise of an obstacle course, I assume? Yes. Excellent. And I don't need to explain. Up the ladder is the training area. The first test is navigating through the environment without being detected. Following that, you'll be facing live challenges against the agents here. Anything else I should know about running this course? Yes. I suggest you do it quickly. And talking gives your position away. What's the deal with the security panel? It secures the entrance. If you're as capable as Westridge says, then you should have no trouble hacking it and gaining access to the course. Clock's ticking. <laughs> Great. Course begins now. Hack the door in front of you to gain access to the course. Oh, man. Hey, how about that? Always check your surroundings for cameras. We can't have you appearing on the nightly news. their blind spots. Oh, for the love of Oh, screw you, pal. Why did I screw that up?
evaluation your score is based on several factors sorting the numbers now hmm oh 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 damn okay I gotta rerun Westridge knows what he's doing you need to do better when you're in the field that time is one of the worst on record okay you want to run it again yeah yeah I think I can do better I should hope so. If you improve, your new score will overwrite the previous one. Yeah, 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 let's go. Course begins now. Hack the door in front of you to gain access to the course. Okay, cool. Always check your surroundings for cameras. I can't have you appearing on the nightly news. No kidding. Mind the gap. The key to stealth is timing. Pay attention to camera movements, then exploit their blind spots. Your score is based on several uh, factors. Did better than Sorting the numbers time, now. Least. Okay. All right. Outstanding. Well above average. Especially for a trainee. Okay. You want to run it again? No, I don't think so. Very well, I'll log the results. Westridge can complete your evaluation once you finish the other tests. Anything else you could share that might help me out? I feel like I've already got the basics down. Of course, not enough of a challenge for you? No. <laughs> then I have an assignment for you. This one won't be locked. What? You mean like a covert training op? Aren't you guys carrying orientation too far? Nothing of that alpha protocol is orientation, Agent Thornton. Despite the semantics. The penalty for getting caught, however, won't be a poor score. It'll be detention. So, are you up for it or not? I'm not interested in doing something off the books, Parker. Well, then your career in Alpha Protocol will be a short one. Because that is all we do. You should go see Westridge now. He's an impatient man. Hmm. <laughs> what 
do gadget training first, damn it. Probably should have done gadget training second after the, uh, after the, uh, Mikey, course. be with you in a moment. I'm just setting some things up here. I'm Sean Darcy. I'm going to be running you through tech orientation. Good to meet you, Agent. What do you need me to do? We'll be firing up the exercise in a second. For now, just stand there and be quiet, Mikey. Shouldn't be much longer. And here we go. Green lights. I'm glad you finally showed up. Thought you might have gotten lost on the way here. Or were too busy beating up some more guards. This isn't the only orientation I have to take, Agent. I arrived as quickly as I could. Yeah, sure. Oh, by the way, not a good idea. Hitting the guards, I mean. The ones here have a lot of time on their hands, and that means a lot of time to hold grudges. I'll keep that in mind, but I wasn't expecting to be drugged and attacked. A good agent's ready for anything, Mikey. But enough chit-chat. We got a lot of work ahead of us. Well, you... Oh, this guy's do. such a douchebag. I'm mostly here as an observer. I'll be doing your evaluation, too. What's that out there? A used car lot? A target range for you. For me, more like a shooting gallery. Head out the door there and we'll get started. All right, then. Open the locker and equip yourself. If you use them all, just come back and grab some more. All right, everyone's favorite. Grenades. Let's see that arm of yours. Go on, start checking them. They're concussion rounds, so don't be skittish. They sting, not kill. All right, now how about something more challenging? Try a ricochet to hit the target behind the wall. Lob it behind the target and use the wall for a hook shot. Now, try and get one through the window. Now for some fireworks. Try and chuck one beneath the truck and take out the gas tank. Ah, never get tired of that one. <laughs> now, see that electronic lock there? Use your EM... ...peak grenade to shut it down. It can save you time in the field. Place one on the door. Nice and just in time. Hey, Darcy, open up. Yes, some of the other guards will be pulling double shifts for a while. Those guards you beat up when you got out of medical? Yeah, well, they're gonna be joining us in a second. You've got a head start, so if I were you, I'd set an ambush and just start running. Me, I'd use the mines. That's what they're for. Oh, you want to play, huh? All right, let's play. The doc's gonna be pissed. 
All right, all done. Head on up, Mike. I'll give you a breakdown on your performance. So, Mikey, you did all right on the basic run. <laughs> Oh yeah, how about that? You know, that performance wasn't half bad. Almost as good as my record. How about we up the stakes? Take this to the big leagues. Maybe some other time, Darcy. I just want to get out of here and get my assignment. You're lost then. I thought you might be scared. I mean, I don't really blame you. It's a big world out there. Full of risks. I'm reporting to Westridge, Darcy, and I don't want to keep him waiting. There's nothing more to learn here, and I don't have time for games. Knock yourself out then, Boy Scout. But it's not gonna matter. Once you drop the ball, they'll call me in to get the job done. We'll see. More likely, you'll be pushing the broom. Enjoy the rest of your custodial work today. And hope you enjoy cleaning up your training range. Alright then. If you change your mind, the range is good to go. Whenever you feel up to it, that is. <laughs> You don't have clearance to come in here. Fine. All right, here we go. You guys must have spent a fortune on the TVs in this place. You all done? You tell me. Now you're learning. I have to admit, I was worried whether we'd be able to keep you here after you woke up in medical. You gave our staff a run for its money. I gave it my best, and so did they. Fair enough. It'll be a good excuse to up the morning drills around here. Looks like you did well on the tech portion of the test. Very well. Past Darcy's bitching, there's some real compliments in here if you look at the numbers. Mina's report says you might need more practice on the gun range, but you're probably still shaking off the drugs we gave you. I'm still brushing up on my skills. Mina's a good teacher. I just need to be a better student. She is a good teacher. She has a good eye for potential. I'll let her know your thoughts. And here's a surprise. A positive evaluation from Parker. On the number side as usual. But he actually took the time to write a sentence. <laughs> he did? Uh, what was the sentence? You may have been right about this one, Westridge. For Parker, that's high praise. Assuming you don't let us down, Mike. Looks like that's it for the physical evaluation. Now for the hard part. Tell me why you're here. Not everyone gets chosen for this line of work, but you volunteered. Usually, we have to ask. I want to serve my country. And you think by being assigned here is the best way to do that? Give me a mission and I'll prove it. What makes you think you're ready? Because I tell you, we get a lot of recruits in here, and you're not convincing me. My opinion isn't important. Yours is. Not out in the field, and not when you're dealing directly with others. Then your opinion is all that counts. Beyond the guns, tech, and sneaking around in the dark, there's one last part of this job that nobody else here quite gets. I'm listening. Good. Because listening is a large part of it. The way you talk to people, your attitude. That's what we're going to discuss now. I'm not sure I understand. Is there something wrong with how I deal with people? No, believe it or not, you're not here because you're a people person. You're here because your psych profile says you're skilled at manipulating others. Was that a compliment? You'll see. The way you project <laughs> yourself definitely affects what people think of you, and your reputation with them. And if I want to impress them? You don't always want to or need to. Having a good or bad rep with someone can actually gain you different benefits. Sometimes you want to piss someone off so they can't think straight. Other times you want to build a strong rapport with someone and talk your way out of a bad situation. All depends on your objective. This goes for your handlers as well. We're going to be sending you into a lot of dangerous places. And your only backup is going to be who you're talking to on your headset. How you treat them is going to have an effect on the success of your mission. So if I piss them off, I'm screwed? No. A handler that likes you too much and puts emotions before the mission can be just as dangerous as one who resents you. This is a long way of telling me that I should just act the way I want. And if I compromise an asset in the field by choosing the wrong path? 
No, again, there are no bad choices, just results. Over time, folks may hear about you and your attitude before they meet you. They may have a preconceived notion of how you're going to treat them, which can affect their reaction. Well, maybe they should take the time to know the real me. If only. Time's something no one seems to be able to spare, especially during a conversation. Although that can be a plus. If I need a breather to assess the situation, right? The clock doesn't stop when you're speaking to someone. So if you need to get your second win before a fight, making small talk can buy you time. But if I'm running on adrenaline, won't chatting take me off my guard? It can. So if you need to get to the point, act instead of fight. For example, if you don't think I have any more to teach you, then you could just say, I'm done with this. I wouldn't think any less of you. You seem to have the basics down. And if they're a target, why talk to them at all? Sometimes it is better if you shoot first. Still approaching someone to talk to them can allow you to get the drop on them if you get close enough to strike. Use it if you have to, if the conversation isn't going your way. Assuming there's even a way you want the conversation to go. So how do I know how someone wants to be treated? At least, enough to cooperate. If that's what you want to do, pay attention to the clues in your environment. Sometimes people will have advice, and intel can help. But there's another way. Read much? Yes. Usually before I'm ordered to destroy the document. There's a host of information out there through dossiers, email, and other documents that represent total research others have collected on a target, organization, or operation. And what does that get me, exactly? Sometimes you'll spot obvious triggers. People who don't respond well to smart asses like me. Others who respect loyalty, duty, a professional approach. Others who don't have time for bullshit and like it when you get to the point. But dossiers just don't contain psych information. They'll usually have combat information on your target as well. What side they favor, any past injuries, common weapons or tactics they use. Some of it blunt, some of it subtle. But if push comes to shove, it can give you an edge in combat. The more you've done your homework, the more vulnerable they'll be. So when the guns come out, the dossier can come into play. Have you read mine? Several times. You have dossiers on everyone here? Yep, if you can dig them up. You might learn a few things. Sometimes reading a dossier will give you more options when dealing with others. A few facts to bring up, to shake secrets loose. What about you? You should already know what makes me happy, Mike. And what pisses me off. How do I know when I have the go-ahead to start accessing files? After meeting a target or hearing their name referenced by someone else, you should have a target ID. Then hop onto the database and start doing your homework. You can usually unlock their basic information at that point. Let's start with a simple one. al Samad. That should be familiar to you. The terrorist group. Yes, you can research groups as well as people. It doesn't carry the same benefits, but it can provide useful intel in the field. Talking to people about others is a good way to help gain dossier information. Sometimes people will have information on someone that can unlock a brand new thread in your computer search. Okay. So I've suffered through your interrogation. I know how to give one, if need be. Am I ready or not? We'll see. Meet me in the command center, and I can give you a proper mission briefing. Good. Because I'm sick of this room. Trust me, Mike. If it was up to me, you'd never see this interrogation cell again. Hmm. <laughs> Recognize him? That Sheikh Ali Shaheed, the voice of Al Samad. They say he was responsible for shooting down that airliner in the Middle East. Yeah, he got his hands on some prototype Halbeck technology. A missile with a multi stage targeting system called Jacob's Ladder. That airliner was his first target. Specs and shadiness of this whole thing aside, how did Shaheed get his hands on that missile? Missiles. He's got more. He stole them from Halbeck, and we need them back before he gets any more trigger-happy. Then we want you to kill him. Understood. But if the opportunity presents itself, should I take him alive? If you can. Either way, we want him out of the picture, and away from any more taped broadcasts. If I can bring him back here, I will. All right, then. Pack your gear. You're heading to Saudi Arabia. Not coming with me? Oh boy. I'll be there in spirit. And on video and radio when needed, Agent. And I just got here. Oh, well, I'm gonna miss this place. <laughs> I doubt it. I'll contact you when you reach Saudi Arabia. Oh, 
Okay, all right. Care to explain how Halbeck lost its missiles? Old news. Recounting error. The missiles. You didn't lose them, did you? Angry, Mr. Thornton? Because of what happened in Saudi Arabia. of interference. I made it to Saudi Arabia, sir. I'm at the safe house. I guess that much. See any shadowy agents in trench coats at the airport? No, sir. I don't think so. That was a joke, Mike. But stay on your toes anyway. Finding Shahid is your primary objective. Trouble is, we don't know his location. But we have three leads. An arms dealer, Nasri, is believed to have sold the missiles to Shahid and he's currently operating in Saudi Arabia. If you can intercept him, maybe he can tell you where Shahid is, or guide you to the missiles. Do we have anything else on Nasri? Nothing more than what's in his dossier. If you can manage to make any contacts and find out more, we'd welcome it. We also tracked down the location of an airfield Shahid used in the past. If you can sneak in and plant a listening device, we may be able to track flight Shahid is using to move through Saudi Arabia. And the third lead? We've got the coordinates of an al Samad detention camp, also used as a stockpile for weapons. We suspect the missiles may be stored there. Is there any way to be sure the missiles are there? Not at this time. The area is dug into the side of a canyon, and getting reliable satellite imagery when sandstorms aren't blowing has been almost impossible. Oh, goody. We want you to go in alone, recon the area, and shut down their radar and communications. Once that's down, we can call in air support and hit the camp hard. No pressure. And no backup. Get used to it. It's the job. You check out your new home yet? It's got some perks you might be interested in. Full security system? A computer with a hub connection so fast you'll feel like you're going back in time. <laughs> what, to the Stone Age? Please. You can do dossier research, encrypted emails, and if need be, access some of the weapons dealers in the area. That'll be done on your own dime, however using whatever funds you can find in Saudi Arabia. I understand, sir. We wouldn't want Alpha Protocol tied to any weapons trafficking in the Middle East. Exactly. There's also a weapons locker in the main living area. Open it up, help yourself, but use the ammo and armor you think suits the mission. When you're ready to head out, just use the front door, or access the missions from the main terminal. I'll have already uploaded all the mission specs to your PDA. You can review them at any time. All right, so is that it? Westridge. Great. I guess that was home it. Home sweet home. Okay. All right. Yeah, I think that'll do it for now. Definitely gonna be uh, coming back to this. <laughs> I'm I'm digging agents so far. I am digging it. Not bad. Like the stealth training. Pretty pretty action. Actually, pretty badass. Can't believe I never did that with any of my soldier tunes. Oh well. Or my freelancer tune from back in the day. Back when I had this on uh, Xbox. Whew. Anyhow. So yeah, y'all take care of yourselves. Take care of each other. Stay safe out there. This is Mac, signing off. Have a good one, guys.